Hi, everybody. I want to make an announcement on the budget. The budget I have that was given to me doesn't work. The math doesn't work, and that continues to be a real problem because we need our commonwealth to work. We need to make sure our schools are funded. We need to make sure that our agricultural extension uh, organizations and services get the money they need. And we need to make sure our local and county governments get the state support they need. We need them to get these, these funds so that they keep doing what we all want them to do. That's what we all need, but this bill, 1801, doesn't do that. HB 1801 simply doesn't add up. Once again, the math doesn't work. The money it claims to provide really doesn't exist. This budget is not in balance. It has the kind of problems that have plagued past budgets here in Harrisburg. It underfunds medical assistance payments. It underfunds corrections. It does not restore the funding for reimbursing schools for construction projects they've already undertaken. It relies on prior year appropriations that supposedly were not spent. It only adds, really, to the $2 billion deficit that is looming right ahead of us in July. In other words, the money just isn't there. Democrats in both the Senate and the House have been working together with me for a fiscally sustainable budget. We have been making the point that our budgets really have to balance, really. That's not a Democratic idea, and it's not a Republican idea. It's just a fact. All you have to do is ask our outside ratings agencies, who have downgraded our debt five times in the last five years. Just ask the people who lend us money, lend money to the Commonwealth who expect a higher rate of interest because our fiscal house is not in order. But all these calls to do the right thing, to do the right math here in Harrisburg have gone unheard. So I cannot in good conscience sign this bill. I cannot in good conscience attach my name to a budget that simply doesn't add up. But to allow us to move on to face the budget challenges of 2016-17, I am going to allow HB 1801 to become law. This means that schools will stay open through the end of the year. But unless Harrisburg changes its ways, they won't have adequate funds for next year. This means that counties will have the money to, they need to make it through the end of the year to do, provide the services that their citizens want them to provide. But unless Harrisburg changes its ways, they won't have enough for next year. It means that seniors will have the help they need in getting their prescriptions at affordable prices for the rest of this fiscal year. But unless Harrisburg changes its ways, they won't be able to count on that for next year. So we are now confronted with the challenges of the 2016-17 budget. And I am asking the legislature to work with me to do the right thing. Let's build a responsible and balanced budget for 2016 and 17. We need to get back to work to create a budget in fiscal year 2016 and 2017 that actually has the money we all know we need. Let's get to work, real work, to create that budget. Let's do the things we all know we need to do to make sure it really adds up. Let's not pretend. We cannot afford a budget that no one believes is truly balanced. We cannot afford a budget that the ratings agencies don't believe. We can't have a budget that the independent fiscal office believes has a fiscal deficit. And we cannot afford a budget that doesn't provide the things that Pennsylvanians need from their government. So let's be honest with ourselves and with the people we serve and let's create a responsible budget in 2016-17 and move on.